Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Conservation groups are pushing back tonight after a new request for border barriers. They say new construction would be a disaster for wildlife in the area. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has our story tonight. It's new at 10. DHS is asking for a billion dollars from the Pentagon for more than 200 miles of border construction and one Southern Arizona wildlife expert says this move will do great damage to our ecosystem. This is nothing short of a crime against nature. Miles Traphagen is the is Borderlands program coordinator for the Wildlands Network. He opposes a Department of Homeland Security plan to build 218 miles of fencing, road construction, and new lighting along the border in Arizona, California, and New Mexico. A building of a border wall like this disregards basically the, the entire evolutionary history of the borderlands. He's concerned about how this project could impact cross-border migration. There's four inches between the, the steel bollards. So basically any animal that's wider than four inches is going to uh, be precluded from crossing uh, for about 80% of the border in those three states. Mark Hart with Arizona Game and Fish says in a statement, quote, it's undeniable that an impermeable wall would impact large mammals' ability to cross the border. One could be built to accommodate small mammals. Meantime, illegal immigration already adversely impacts wildlife by way of up to 10 tons of trash left at layup spots, unauthorized roads and trails, as well as foot traffic and abandoned vehicles. Trap Hagen worries about what this construction will do to javelina, black bears, and the precious jaguar. Nobody has the right to cause species to suffer, um, to, to starve, to become thirsty. And he wonders how tourism will be affected. People flock from all around the world to come to the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum to see these native animals. When they go hiking at Catalina State Park, uh, Saguaro National Monument, <laughs> what's it going to be like if they go there and there are no more javelina to see? There are no more deer. There's no more bobcats. That's going to be a sad day. Trap Hagen says state's attorneys general, along with several conservation groups, are preparing a lawsuit to challenge this proposed barrier construction in court. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.